What if I told you that a small weekend project has now turned into a marketplace that pulls in millions of dollars in revenue every year and that the business was started and is now driven by online writing? Well, Sahil Lavinia used the craft of online writing to grow from a Pinterest engineer to the millionaire CEO of Gumroad. And today we're going to talk about how. From teaching writing, I've learned that writing is the process of translating hazy intuitions into concrete ideas, of turning the intangible into the tangible. And it's the best way to sharpen your own thinking, which is why writing turns into a gym for the mind. It all began when Sahil wanted to sell a digital icon online, but he found it so difficult to do so. And so he stepped back and he asked himself, how many other people face the same problem? Surely on the entire internet, there's gotta be a lot, right? So now he had a problem, but instead of just running really fast and searching for solutions, he decided to create a platform himself that would make it easy for creators to sell their products online. Actually, the bigger thing is like, I didn't even know if I wanted to start a company. You know, like a lot of these people, you know, they watch the social network and they're like, I wanna start a company. But I was like, I don't know, I just wanna build stuff. And maybe starting a company is the best way to do that, and maybe it's not. And this was the beginning of Gumroad. And writing is what he used to set his vision for the company. Sahil believes that writing allows you to think through ideas, but you don't want to just write for the general public at large. You don't want to write for this giant stadium of people who are just average in their interests. Sahil says you gotta find a specific group of people who share your interests and have the same problems as you do. And once you've found them, write for them, show them what you're working on, and then teach what you're learning in the process of building something too. Like most investment meetings, you sit down with someone for an hour and then they invest like a hundred grand, right? Like an hour into a hundred grand. Like that's a very difficult decision to make. Um, but what I had, I think, was that they knew me before, they could read my blog, so they, like the relationship, you know, that we, that we had was a lot longer than an hour, so someone could go back and be like, okay, this kid was talking about building products really passionately a year and a half ago. You see, writing online lets you have a conversation with your future customers. You're effectively saying, hey, here's this problem and here's the solution. What do you think about it? But when you write it down and people resonate with it, they flock to your ideas. And once you've refined the words on the page, it means that your ideas are thought out and they can now be reviewed by other people. And Sahil says this is how you make fans and customers, by setting your vision and knowing what you want to build, then educating your audience and selling to them only after you've established trust with them. And speaking of Sahil, in his book, The Minimalist Entrepreneur, Sahil writes about a landscape oil painter named Brian Mark Taylor, who built his business through community. By attending painting competitions, he had become a part of a community of painters and art enthusiasts. And he grew this community by posting his work as well as his educational videos on the internet. And one day, his easel broke. And so he created the Strata easel to solve his own problem. But then through his community, those people who were already following him, the fans that he had already built a relationship with, he found others who wanted that same easel for themselves. And today, because of that community, because he shared ideas on the internet, he has a thriving business. The question is, where do you begin? Like, how do you actually start writing? What if you don't have ideas? Well, I like to follow the method of writing from abundance, where instead of staring at the flashing cursor of doom on a blank white screen, where you're like, ah, oh, what am I gonna write? You start from a treasure trove of facts and ideas and images. And then these ideas, they spark inspiration, which leads to a chain reaction of creativity and epiphanies, creativity and epiphanies, over and over again. But merely setting your vision isn't enough. You gotta test it to see whether it's gonna resonate with people. According to Sahil, 99% of learning happens after you launch your product. And Sahil shared his writing with others in order to receive feedback and then improve his writing to improve his ideas. I'll kind of spin out different Google Docs for each person and then they'll give me feedback and I'll just kind of do that over and over and over again until there's basically like no feedback left. Where like the document is as, it's kind of like I've climbed the mountain, like I'm not saying it's the best possible thing, but at least in terms of, you know, kind of starting from the bottom and getting to somewhere like I can't go anymore. Uh, and then I hit publish and I kind of move on to, to the next thing. 
And so Sahil, he validated his vision by sharing his writing and then getting feedback using what he calls an ABCD framework. And the ABCD framework asked people to give feedback that would help him. It's a really clear system. And so he asked, what's awesome, A, what's boring, B, what's confusing, and what didn't you believe? And he did that indirectly on Twitter by watching how people were engaging with his tweets. And then he'd do it directly when he'd ask people to review what he'd written before he published. After setting and testing your vision, the final stage is actually realizing it. And once again, Sahil achieved this by, guess what? Sharing his ideas on the internet. Apart from writing about his ideas on Twitter and publishing articles on his website, he also answered questions live on Clubhouse. And he managed to gather $10 million in funding because he had already established a blog and then a reputation for being an entrepreneur that people were interested in and a good writer. It's kind of the same thing I tell startup founders who are trying to raise money. They're like, oh, I'm trying to raise money. And I'm like, Has, who's offered to give you money? Like, don't raise money until someone has offered to give you money. Um, which is not that hard in this environment. Like if you go build stuff and you write about it in public, like you will get people asking to give you money. Like I go on Twitter all the time and just ask people if I can invest in their startup. And so this allowed him to gather and build a community of like-minded creators as well as investors because his words provided value before his product did. And that facilitated trust. And in one of his articles, Sahil talks about how he runs his business. No meetings, no deadlines, no full-time employees not even himself. The reason that this is possible is because of writing. Instead of wasting time with conversations and meetings that go on and on and on, everybody in their team takes time to write out well thought out ideas and feedback. And this saves a lot of time because the others can just read it instead of having a back and forth conversation debating things. And believe it or not, Sahil also is trying to alienate certain people with his writing. This is my favorite point, and I love it because it's super non-obvious. Now, you might ask, why in the world would you want to alienate people with your writing? And the reason is because in the world of business, we've moved to an era of remote work where you can hire a small number of employees from anywhere in the world who are perfect for you. So then rather than getting a bunch of lukewarm maybes, you're getting people who are saying, hell yes, I want to work for you and for that company because it speaks to me and it aligns with my values. Like I always say, words are the atomic unit of the internet. Because all of us carry smartphones with us 24 seven, which means that you can reach the world with your ideas. So write them down, then give yourself a platform. And then if you want, use it to start a business like Gumroad. And remember, like Sahil said, when you write well, you think well.